Hello everyone. Now we will continue our discussion on rock properties that we need to understand if we want to do reservoir simulation or reservoir modeling. Okay, so now we will continue this discussion and the topic is about compressibility. This is of course rock compressibility. Okay, we start with definition. So a reservoir thousands of feet underground is subjected to an overburden pressure caused by the weight of the overlying formations okay overburden pressure over the burden pressures vary from area to area depending on factors such as depth nature of the rock consolidation of the formation and possibly the geologic age and history of the rock depth of formation is the most important consideration and a typical value of overburden pressure is approximately one per PSI per foot of depth. Okay, so here, external stress coming from overburden pressure and usually the rule of thumb, the easy or the simple number of it is one PSI per foot. Okay, one PSI per foot. So if your formation is located at 5,000 feet, so the overburden pressure is one PSI per foot multiplied by 5,000 feet. Okay, so it's 5,000 PSI, the overburden pressure. Okay, we continue. The weight of overburden simply applies a comprehensive force to the reservoir, of course. Overburden pressure, this applies a compressive force so the, the overburden pressure will compress the rock all right and the pressure in the rock pores and the pressure in the rock pore spaces does not normally approach the overburden pressure a typical pore pressure commonly referred to as reservoir pressure is common is approximately 0.5 PSI per foot of depth, assuming that the reservoir is sufficiently consolidated so that the overburden pressure is not transmitted to the fluids in the pore spaces. So here, overburden, if your formation is located at, for example, 5,000 feet, okay. So the overburden, Pressure is 1 PSI per foot multiplied by 5,000 feet. Okay. So it's 1 times 5,000. It will be 5,000 PSI. But here, okay, the, the, the gradient for reservoir pressure is 0 0.5. So we can estimate, roughly estimate that the reservoir pressure, P reservoir, pressure of the reservoir is 0 0.5 multiplied by 5,000. So it's about 2,500 PSI. And the overburden stress is 5,000 PSI. Okay, so that's the difference. And again, the overburden pressure is external stress, but internal stress, we have fluid or pore pressure or reservoir pressure. Normally 0 0.43 PSI per foot, but if you have overpressure reservoir, then the, the reservoir pressure or pore pressure is this one, 0 0.5 to one PSI per foot if you have upper pressure reservoir. Okay, so this is just to uh, reiterate, external stress from overburden pressure, the gradient is one PSI per foot, internal stress coming from fluid or pore pressure, normal gradient is 0 0.43, Overpressure gradient is 0 0.5 to 1 PSI per foot. And then we have net overburden pressure and OBP. We can calculate it by subtracting fluid pressure 
from overburden pressure. Okay, so it's overburden pressure minus fluid pressure or pore pressure or reservoir pressure, then we have net overburden pressure. Okay, and rock matrix or rock grains support the balance. Okay, so that there will be no subsidence. Okay, so the rock grains, rock matrix will support the balance.